Hello and welcome to this fintech session on Mint. We will use the Canvas business model to analyze Mint. In 2009, Mint was acquired by the American software company Intuit for a price of 170 million US dollars. During that time, the company had not more than 1 million users. Until 2016, this number rose to more than 20 million customers. As of 2022, Mint claims to have over 30 million users. Besides the personal finance management application, Mint operates two accounting software applications, QuickBooks and Turbo Tax. Mint's key partners include companies like Lending Club or Scholastic. Lending Club is America's leading peer-to-peer -peer lending platform with approximately 920,000 loans brokered in 2019, totaling about 12.3 billion US dollars. Thus, Mint encourages its customers to use less debit card debt and therefore pay less interest. Lending club users usually use granted loans to repay credit card debt or refinancing existing loans. Together with Scholastic, Mint developed teaching materials for students and teachers. The goal behind the corporation was to help children to develop money management skills. In just two years, Mint increased its value from zero US dollars to 170 million US dollars. A huge factor that contributed to that increase might be the brand name that Mint created already before launching their personal finance management product. The Mint team conducted interviews with well-known financial experts, wrote blog posts and designed infographics. They created different types of content to reach their target group which consists mainly of young people. They also used Reddit, social media in general and search engine optimization. Thus, Mint quickly became considered a trusted source of financial information. Also, many private investors started to subscribe to their newsletter. Another big factor contributing to their early success was a simple product innovation that could not be offered in the same way by competitors. They managed to shorten and simplify long processes by automation. All of the user's financial transactions are retrieved from the user's bank when they first log into Mint. This includes credit and debit cards. This data is then automatically categorized. The key activities support Mint in providing their value proposition to the customer. Mint provides its users an overview of their financial activities. This cost-free overview can be displayed on the smartphone or Mint's website. Every transaction of the user is automatically categorized and afterwards graphically displayed. Moreover, Mint provides specific proposals for saving measures next to their financial overview, which are designed to help the customers enhance their financial situation. The Mint customer also receives a free credit card rating. This rating is generated continuously and the customer is immediately notified if the rating changes. There are as well numerous other notifications that the Mint customer can activate. For example, reminding for outstanding invoices, unusual account movement or overdraft warnings. Besides that, Mint also offers investment tracking, which allows the users to have their portfolios evaluated. The personal finance management tool therefore advises on savings potentials like brokerage fees and optimization possibilities. Mint also promises its users high security standards through banking standards like a four digit PIN and 128 bit SSL encryption. Furthermore, Mint is permanently monitored by online security services like VeriSign and TrustE. This does not mean 
that Mint does not want to create an easy registration process for its customers. Normally, people have to go through a lot of steps to use banking apps. Often, authentication has to be provided through a PIN. The banking app must be synchronized with all the cards the user has and various other information as well as personal data need to be entered. Mint facilitated this process by creating a simple user interface and a high degree of automation. Mint targets all retail banking clients or consumers who want to manage and oversee their financial behavior. Furthermore, Intuit provides PFM or Personal Finance Management as a white label solution for other financial service providers and banks. In a Stanford study, 46% of the almost 3,000 participants were of the opinion that the credibility of a website relies on its design. Mint therefore created a Web 2.0 website with buttons, shadows and 3D tabs. To attract potential customers, Mint uses different marketing channels, especially social media and the internet. However, also strategic partnerships with Lending Club and Intuit as Mint's parent company play an important role in expanding the customer base. Mint is consolidated with TurboTax and Open Financial Exchange in Intuit's financial statements. Mint generates revenue with a commission model. Mint receives commissions from the corresponding provider for recommendations of loans, credit cards or insurance contracts. Furthermore, the website generates advertising revenue. Companies can buy space on the app or the homepage for advertising. Based on the user's financial history, Mint then uses targeted advertising. Mint also earns revenue by implementing white labels for other financial service providers and banks. Another potential revenue stream could result from the sale of anonymized data to other companies in order to analyze consumer behavior. 48% of Intuit Group's total operating income in 2019 was generated through TurboTax, Open Financial Exchange and Mint. Let's come to the conclusion and our four key messages. First, Mint is a personal finance management fintech that was acquired by Intuit in 2009 for 170 million US dollars. As of 2022, Mint claims to have more than 30 million customers. Second, Mint categorizes all financial transactions of the customer and makes saving proposals. Third, Mint also offers a free credit card rating, various account notifications and investment tracking. And fourth, Mint earns money with different revenue streams, including commissions for recommendations. In case you want to learn more about other fintech companies, check out the book Fintech Business Models. Thank you for your attention.